Welcome to Math Window. A wonderful algebra question. Are you able to solve? X plus one over x is equal to three. What's the value of x to the power four? Then plus one over x to the power four. How should we solve? Which method should we use? We don't know. Maybe first by inspection. Here, in the known, the exponent. Are one and negative one, but here is four and negative four. So this is our problem. What's our goal? Just to raise the exponents from one to four, from negative one to negative four, because one over x is just x to the power of negative one. How can we reach our goal? Hmm. One of the best methods. Is to raise the both sides to power four, but maybe you have a problem if you don't know the formula a plus b all to power four. If you know the formula, then you can use it. But now I'm gonna show you another fantastic method to this kind of questions. Hmm. Look, here is four, here is one. So how should we reach our goal? Maybe we can first solve the value of x squared then plus one over x squared, and then solve the value for this. Hmm. It sounds so nice, isn't it? So first, let's do it. How should we reach x squared then plus one over x squared? Of course, we can just. Raise the both hand sides to the power of two. So easy. So now, x then plus one over x, all squared, is equal to three squared, is equal to nine. X plus one over x all squared is equal to nine, and then. We use the formula, the really fantastic formula. A plus b all squared it is equal to a squared then plus two ab then plus b squared. But for this question, it would be better when we write a squared then plus b squared first. And then plus two ab. Of course, they are the same thing, but in this question, I'd rather write a squared than plus b squared, and then plus two times ab. Why? You will see. What should we do with this equation? Of course, x then plus one over x all squared, which is a, this x, which is b, this one over x. So a squared it is x squared, and then plus b squared, it is one over x all squared, and then plus two times ab. A is x, b is one over x. Of course, the right hand side is just nine. X squared is here, and then these sections. That can be simplified, and you can get this. Since one over x all squared, it is one squared then divided by x squared, and one squared is one. So here is one divided by x squared, and then plus two times x then times one over x, x x. They can cancel out each other, so here is only two left. Subtract two from the both hand sides, you can get, and then this thing. X squared then plus one over x squared it is equal to nine minus two seven. Congratulation. We've solved for the value of x squared then plus one over x squared successfully. We just solve for x to the power four then plus one over x to the power four by using the same method, isn't it? Now square. The both hand sides of this equation. 
Therefore, we can get x to the power of 2 and then plus 1 over x to the power of 2. And then squared. It is equal to 7 squared, 49. So 49. By using this formula, a plus b all squared, it is equal to a squared then plus b squared then plus 2ab. Now, a is x squared, not x anymore. So x squared, all squared. And then plus b, it is 1 divided by x squared, and then all squared. Oh, forgive me, I forgot it. Hmm, it doesn't matter. <laughs> And then plus 2 times a and b. a is x squared, and b is 1 over x squared. It is 49. So here we can see that x squared and all to the power of 2, it is x to the power of 4. 1 divided by x to the power of 2, and then all squared, it is 1 over x to the power of 4. And then plus, these two guys, they can cancel out each other. Plus 2, it is 49. And our final answer. And the result to our question, x to the power 4 and then plus 1 over x to the power 4, it is 49 minus 2. Don't calculate it wrongly. Correct. It is 47. Now, question. Are you able to solve for the value of x to the power of 8, then plus 1 over x to the power of 8? See you next time. Bye-bye.